In Matthew 7, 12, Jesus says, So in everything, do to others what you would have them do to you. And in 1 Thessalonians 5 and 15, Paul reminds us to always strive to do what is good for each other and for everyone else. During this global pandemic, a very concrete way we can show our love for each other is to protect each other from illness to the best of our ability. Maintaining physical distance, hand washing, and wearing a mask are simple but very effective ways we can minimize the spread of COVID-19 and protect those most vulnerable to serious illnesses. When we reopen, we at Byron Community Church want to ensure as safe an environment as possible by complying with public health recommendations and city bylaws. If you are 12 years old or older, you will need to wear a mask inside the building and remember to keep six feet apart from others who are not part of your immediate family or your pre-existing social bubble. Face shields protect, boost the protection a medical or non-medical mask can provide and are an optional extra, but are not adequate on their own. If you have reasons that you cannot wear a mask, we would encourage you to continue to watch the podcast online. If you have spiritual concerns, prayer requests, or specific practical needs, please do not hesitate to contact John, Josh, or one of the elders. If you do not have a mask or have left it at home, we will provide one, but we'd ask you to please bring your own masks. As church capacity is currently limited, in order to ensure adequate physical distance seating, please notify the office before Sunday morning of your in intention to attend and how many family members will accompany you. The last thing we want to do is to find ourselves having to turn anyone away. Whenever possible, we will save extra seats for people who forgot to call ahead. When you arrive, please use the hand sanitizer provided at the entrance and proceed to your seats. Avoid moving around to socialize. And no matter how excited you are to see each other, please refrain from handshakes, hugs, or other touching. Although it should go without saying, if you're feeling unwell for any reason, please do not attend. Stay at home until you're feeling better. Because it's not possible to eat or drink while wearing a mask, please refrain from bringing any food or drinks into church as they cannot be consumed during the service. And if you need to use the washroom, ensure you wipe down high touch areas such as stall doors and handles. Disinfectant wipes will be available. The use of collection plates has been, has been temporarily suspended but should you wish to submit a prayer request card or make a donation, a collection box will be present in the sanctuary. After the service, please leave the building in an orderly fashion starting at the back. Feel free to socialize outside while maintaining your physical distance from each other. If you have church business that requires in-person interaction rather than communication be by phone or email, please schedule with the relevant people at a time when the church is not otherwise occupied. Unfortunately, we will not be able to offer a nursery or Sunday school at this time, so parents will need to keep their children with them during the service. Youth, though, can continue to connect with Josh about programs and activities. So now for a short tutorial about hand washing and putting on and taking off masks. First off, wash your hands. Definitely not like that. Everyone knows to wash their hands after eating or using the washroom, but we also need to wash our hands before and after touching our mouth, our eyes, or nose. Wet your hands with warm running water, apply soap, and lather your hands. Don't forget to scrub between your fingers, your fingertips, and the back of your hands and wrists. It should take about 20 seconds, the time it takes to sing Happy Birthday or Frere Jaca twice. Rinse well under running water, dry your hand with paper towel, and use that towel to turn off the tap. If your hands aren't visibly dirty, and soap and water not easily accessible, then use hand sanitizer. Apply about a thumbnail amount and rub your hands together, remembering all the surfaces we just mentioned, until the alcohol evaporates. That's great! Much improved! Now, let's go over mask do and don'ts. If you have long hair, 
Make sure it is away from your face. Then wash your hands. Place the mask over your nose and mouth and bend the flexible area over your nose to ensure it fits snugly. This will prevent it from slipping down and also helps prevent your glasses from fogging up. Remember, once you put your mask on, you must avoid touching your mask or your face. If you have to do so for any reason, use your hand sanitizer again. Don't wear damp or dirty masks. Make sure you change it. When it's time to remove your mask, take it off without touching the outside surface. If it's disposable, place it in the garbage. If it is intended for reuse, fold the outside surface against itself and place it in a paper bag until it can be laundered. After removing your mask, wash your hands and clean any surface the dirty mask has touched. Now remember, do not pull your mask down to talk to someone else. Do not wear it as a chin strap. Do not wear it at half mast. You wouldn't walk around with your fly undone, would you? Do not hang it off one ear when you are distanced from others. It's not a decoration. And of course, no matter how late you were up last night and how tired you are right now, it is not a sleep aid. Thank, Thank you for doing your part to keep our church community healthy and safe.